Hi and welcome back to the ElectroSmart YouTube channel. In today's video we will unbox and set up an Antiference Clearflow Beam 2 as an access point. In the box we have starting left to right the user guide and documentation, stainless steel ties, the Beam 2, the PoE injector and the mains cable for the PoE injector. You will also need two Ethernet cables which are not supplied. The Beam 2 can be attached directly to a wall or to an external pole. To connect an Ethernet cable, simply remove the bottom cover. We will now install the Beam 2 to our showroom wall. The next step is to connect the Beam 2 to the PoE injector. Connect an Ethernet cable to the LAN port on the Beam 2 and to the PoE port on the PoE injector. At this point, don't connect your router to the LAN port. Once connected, the status light will light up on the side of the Beam 2. For the next stage, you will need a computer or a tablet that can connect to a Wi-Fi. Disconnect from your current Wi-Fi and then connect to the new device. It will usually be called Beam 2 followed by some numbers. Once you have connected to the Wi-Fi, open an internet browser and type in the following web address 192.168.1.200 This will now load the login screen for the Beam 2. The default password is admin all in lower case. Now that you are logged in, click wizard on the left hand side. There are various options you can select depending on what you want to use the Beam 2 for. We have Bridge, Repeater, Router and AP which stands for Access Point. In this video we will set it up as an access point so click AP. You will now need to set the LAN settings. If you are only using one access point and don't have any conflicting IP addresses on your network, just use the default 192.168.1.200. Once you have set the IP address, click Next. The local SSID is a network name when you search for the Wi-Fi. If you want a new network, then use a new name if you want to extend your existing network, use the same name and password as your existing network. We will set it up as ElectroSmart Showroom and password ElectroSmart1. Select a suitable launch range from 0km to 10km. We don't want our Wi-Fi visible too far away. So we'll set ours to half a kilometre. Now click finish and the system will confirm your settings. This usually takes around 10 seconds. It now says we're not connected to a network, but this is because we've changed the Wi-Fi name. Click to connect to a Wi-Fi and the new name will be visible. Click now to connect to the new Wi-Fi.
The network connection will say that there's no internet. Now connect an ethernet cable from your router to the LAN port on the PoE injector. Go back to your computer and as you can see the Beam 2 is now connected to the network. To double check that you have internet just search for a website. We now recommend changing your default password from admin. To do this go to your internet browser and type in the IP address you set up earlier. Ours is still the default 192.168.1.200. Type the password admin. Now on the left hand side select system and select change password. Type the old password and then create a new password. Now click confirm. Once complete it will log you out. Simply log back in using your new password. If you ever want to change the Wi-Fi name or password Simply click on network on the left hand side and then select wireless. In this menu you can change the Wi-Fi name, password and launch range. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful please like it and subscribe to our channel.